Now that we've submitted our changed PRs, let's go ahead and check this out on Graphite. So I'm going to go ahead and follow a link. And actually, before I show you Graphite, I'm going to show you GitHub because people always ask me about that. So navigating over to GitHub, we're going to see a few key things for the stack. First thing that Graphite has done is it set the base branch for me. So here you can see that I'm on front end and it's based on server. The value of this is that when I go to look at files changed, I as the author or as the reviewer, even though this branch is based on another branch that has server changes, I don't see those server changes here because they've already been reviewed and approved in a different pull request. The second thing that Graphite does is it goes ahead and creates a comment for me, the stack comment. The stack comment shows you the state of the stack the same way you saw locally. So in this case, we have open API spec, server, front end, and analytics. And for the lifetime of this pull request, Graphite will go ahead and keep this up to date for you. So as these pull requests are merged, as they're closed, as the stack is edited via Graphite, Graphite will go ahead and update all of the relevant comments so that both you and your reviewer are kept up to date. Let's go ahead and take a look at what this looks like in Graphite though. So in Graphite, you're going to see all the same information that you do in GitHub and then a little more. So you'll see the title, you'll see the description, you'll see the code. You can click on the code to leave a comment and you'll see the stack. Focusing on that commenting for a second, if I go ahead and say this is a test comment and flip back to GitHub, I'll go ahead and see that exact same comment on GitHub and I'll see this is a test comment. And I can go ahead and edit that comment, I can reply to that comment, or I can emoji react to that comment. And when I do that in two seconds or less without touching the keyboard, you're going to see that exact same reaction show up on Graphite. Graphite goes to great lengths to bidirectionally sync everything between GitHub and Graphite so that you can start using Graphite even if the rest of your team is still on GitHub. Now let's talk around ways in which Graphite can improve your experience, especially for stacks on top of GitHub. The first is a stack comment. Because it's in a little bit more, because it's in our interface, we can actually show a lot more information about the stack. We can show how many unresolved comments there are. We can show what exactly is blocking it from merging, including things like CI or merge conflicts. We can go ahead and show you when it was updated. Uh, and, and we can go ahead and show you the fullness of the stack, especially as these stacks start to get longer or more complicated. Second thing we can do is we can go ahead and show you the thing that needs to happen next. So we call this the meta status. In the top right, in the top left, you'll see that it's ready to merge as a stack. But if this were blocked by downstack, if it was waiting on CI, if it was waiting on reviewers, anything like that, Graphite can go ahead and show that information for you. CI is also stack aware. So if CI starts failing downstack, Graphite can go ahead and pull that up to me to say CI is failing on this branch, but it's not because of changes introduced in this branch, it's because of changes introduced below. Actually, speaking on CI for one more second, Graphite goes ahead and adds the mergeability check to all of your PRs. So for any pull request created with Graphite on both Graphite and GitHub, you'll go ahead and see this mergeability check showing up in your CI section. This is to prevent you from merging mid-stack PRs before the PRs below them have been merged. This just makes sure that the merge order is kept intact. And then lastly for the code, Graphite will go ahead and show you any lines which are changed up stack. A common pattern is that someone will introduce some change and then later in the stack, go ahead and change it, uh, go ahead and realize that it should be changed or incorporate it with new code that they introduced later. Normally when developers go ahead and introduce that, an earlier reviewer might say, oh, you should change this only to discover as they're reviewing the full stack, hey, this was actually already changed. In Graphite, when you're leaving a comment, if that comment is on a line which was later changed, Graphite will go ahead and tell you that it was later changed and how it was later changed. Lastly, when it comes time to merge, you should merge stacks from bottom up. So you should merge open API spec, then server, then front end, then analytics. You can do this in GitHub by going to each one and clicking merge, but this process can be tedious. In Graphite, if the whole thing is ready to merge as a stack, you can go ahead and click merge all three at once, and it'll go ahead, pull in the merge strategy from your GitHub repository and let you merge them sequentially and uh, let you configure the commit message and merge them sequentially at the click of a button. That's it. There are a lot more bells and whistles in here, including things like a full file tree, not particularly exciting on this simple change, uh, marking files as viewed and file level comments, along with being able to fully customize this. If you wanna see white space, if you wanna see blame, by default we see, show blame on all changed lines, and whether you wanna see a split or unified viewed, but I'll let you discover that for yourself. That's it.